It's time for the AFC Championship, and the road to a Super Bowl goes through New England. It's the Browns and the reigning Super Bowl champs, and it comes your way next. It's a site that has seen more than its fair share of great playoff memories the last few decades, and more could be in store as we've got playoff football again at sold-out Gillette Stadium in Foxborough. Straight ahead, it's a clash to decide the AFC's representative in the Super Bowl, and it'll be a great one between the Cleveland Browns and the New England Patriots. Hello, everyone. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. The postseason continuing here on EA Sports. And, man, it is electric in here, and it should be conference championship time. I don't know about you, but my butterflies in my stomach, they have iron wings in this one. <laughs> and every guy I've ever talked to has all said the same thing. This game. The They'll run it here. This is James White. Fights forward for only about a yard up to the 21. Well, sometimes you just have to give credit to the defense. Great job there at the point of attack, holding up. They won their battles at the line of scrimmage, left him no space to try and run. A really nice job swarming to the ball carrier. And he got blown up on that play. Back at the 20. Nice play right there to stop him behind the line, but I want to see how this defense continues to play him here in the first half. Yeah, we know. You know better than I. He has the ability to take over a game, so what do you do? Yeah, I think you have to make sure that you bottle him in at varying levels because if you crowd everyone to the line of scrimmage, if he breaks through, it's nothing but room. Now a give to White. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. A nice run here early on. It didn't take a great play call to realize you want to establish a guy of his caliber with runs like this early because they'll pay dividends as the game progresses. And he's able to get this one down to the full. Play caller is looking at his play sheet and saying, if I have that dagger play, if I have that play, and just finish him off right now because I think they'd love to get that big advantage early. And give the tackle to Anthony Walker. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. And he'll give it here to his running back. Another two-yard gain there, but they'll need to do better this time. It's third and six. Two yards on the first down carry, and then followed up by two yards on the second down carry. Well, that's definitely not going to be enough to get the job done. Wasn't the expression three yards in a cloud of dust? <laughs> now they're going to need six on third down to keep the drive going. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. A good decision in the end. He's like that. All he does is hurt you. Have to at least be able to contain him somewhat. There they could not. They get him to the ground right on the cusp of the red zone after a pickup of five or six. On second down. It's White. And on this one, he'll get to the 15, right at the 15-yard line. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. They'll run with White. And able to surge forward for about five yards. Down. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. Throwing left side here, and it's complete. Going to give this time to the tailback. And he's in. Touchdown. Patriots taking it in from four yards out. And the Pets get set to take over. They'll run on first down. Brooks. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. Oh. You often say that sort of opens the playbook now, second and short. What do you think, early shot here? I like where you're going. Obviously, we've been together for a while because you know me. I want to take that shot early and loosen things up. Yeah, I don't think they expected that much beef up front, and it turned into an easy first down conversion. Well, the end of all that hitting and hollering, it was a four-yard run, so the offense is going to go back down and feel pretty good about themselves. Defensively, you have to feel okay because you didn't let it turn into a bigger run, but the goal, shut it down for two yards or less. That's when you start to feel good about yourselves. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. 
That goes as a gain of 11 and a Patriot first down. And that would cover beautifully. Their defenders stayed home and they'll stop him behind the line. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. That's complete into the hands of Myers. And they're going to have another first down as he's going to be tackled at the Browns 30. 30. Off the play fake. He'll look to throw. Eluding the pressure right. This one to Bourne, and he's got it. And down he goes, taking it inside the 10. Just shots first and goal. Now a handoff here to his running back. And they get him down at the one. He had the broken tackle, but ultimately could not get into the end zone. It'll be a gain of five there as they move closer. It's second and goal. He'll try again. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Patriot touchdown. A great effort there with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Patriots have taken the lead. So his strong first half continues as he finds the end zone here for the second time. And definitely good blocking at the point of attack. And you just have to love watching the way he can create space down near the goal line. And he's able to this offensive sales because they had it going pretty good last time, too. Had to sit over there for a little while, didn't they? You know, they were eager, amped up to get back on the field after just scoring, hoping to get the ball back quickly. That didn't happen, so I'd say come out. Just kind of get started again. You know, doesn't have to be anything dramatic. Just get moving, get loose again, and see if they can get it downfield. Just a couple on the ground there, and that's going to bring up third and about six. And he'll give it here to his running back. And he's going to be stopped here a few yards short of the first as the tackle is made at the 33. It'll be a gain of four, but it won't be enough. It leaves him with a fourth down now. They're going to try and throw. Letting one go deep for his running back, White. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. They start to drive with White. And from the 25, they work this to the potential matchups in this year's Super Bowl. Break it down, Coach. Break it down. Not much room here as he only gets it to about the 30. Call it a gain of a yard, and it's going to bring up third and five. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety coming up and making the big-time play? And he's got the first down yardage before being taken down at midfield. Trying to watch an NFL game and trying to account for their passing game? That's difficult. And just when you think you get everything covered, here comes a back out of the backfield. In this case, he picks up a first down. Looking for more there on first down, but this throw downfield incomplete. James White, the man he was looking for out of the backfield. And now it's second down. They defer to White out of the shotgun. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. Now the Patriots moving quickly, hustling up to the line. Escaping the pressure right. Yeah, he will go out right near the 35-yard line. On play action, they'll throw. Flushed out right. He's going to let this go. Back of the end zone. Toward the back corner of the end zone, but he could not get the feet down. This will wind up incomplete. Kendrick Bourne, the intended receiver, but it's going to be second down. They're going to look to throw. Flush to his right. That's caught by Myers. They'll set up to throw. And he's in. Touchdown, Patriots. It's their quarterback. In the final seconds of the first half. And the Pats have a chance to tie the game here in the final seconds of the half. 
These two teams in this first half, it's been fun. Back and forth, back and forth. Well, it's not fun for the defensive coordinators, but offensive coordinators are Start the third quarter. The drive starts with a run by White. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. They stay on the ground with White. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. They'll look to throw now on first down. And this is incomplete. Jonu Smith, the tight end, is intended receiver. That'll bring up second down. So, Charles, tie game here. What are your keys as we continue to play this second half? I know people think it's always trite when you say the same things over and over, but they're tried and true in the game of football. Who's going to block better? Who's going to tackle better? In this case, to me, it's turnovers. You've got to take care of the football in order to win the game. Calling no gain on the run there, and now they'll be looking at a third down. The play action fake. They'll look to throw. Open man is Jacoby Myers. He's got it. And he will have a Patriots first down as they're able to for big yardage and a first down. I think the defense fell asleep with the switch on that one. I would have doubled the touchdown. James White, 36 yards. And the Patriots have moved out in front. Getting your back involved, what's the importance there in the passing game? Well, oftentimes you can create mismatches because who's going to cover him? And you get him into space, which is where he likes to operate with the ball in his hands. Oftentimes makes people miss. The air attack going. Do they stick with that? I would think that they would because if they were confident enough to do it on the last drive, starting backed up in their own territory, why would you change anything? They've got to be confident about what they're presenting and continue to do so. Yeah, because the secondary, they really look clueless. And that was amazing because that drive went and went, no adjustments and no big plays. First down, here's White. And he'll take this for about four up to the 46-yard line. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. Now he'll escape to his left. And I think the ball's out, but this will get out of bounds, so possession will stay the same. Back to throw here. Eluding the crank. Hit as he throws. He lost the football. It's loose. And this is picked up by the Browns. And he'll bring this one back to the 29. So turnovers, Charles, you figure will be key in the second half. And that's a big giveaway there. Yeah, and as you and I both know, coaches are always preaching ball the football. So in other words, someone got lucky. Because they've been moving the ball really well and wearing them down. In this case, though, giving up the point. Now a carry for White. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. What a nice run on that particular play. I'm telling you, they're going to start to think that this game is easy if they continue to rip off yardage like this. There's a ball thrown right side and complete. And he is out of bounds. He's seven. He'll drop to throw. Escaping the pressure right. And caught by Henry. And he's out of bounds. Almost gets to the 10. Fifth. On the handoff, this is White. Down to the six-yard line on a pickup of six as he gets halfway to the goal line. Boy, where would these guys be without his performance on the ground? That puts him over 100 yards now for the afternoon, and I tell you, he seems to be getting stronger as the day goes along. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. What up? They'll keep it on the ground. It's Brooks, and he'll take it into the end zone for a Patriot touchdown. A great play there. Sending his best for the playoffs with his third touchdown of the game. And the Patriots now, they're on top in the fourth quarter, clinging to that lead. A potential Super Bowl berth resting on their ability to manage the clock and manage that small lead. And the linebacker, Jeremiah Wusu Koromoa, on the tackle. They'll keep it on the ground. It's Brooks. And he'll fight forward to about the 27-yard line. 
two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. New England on third down. They have been superb. Five for six to this point. This is third and eight. And he's taken down. This will be a Brown sack. Miles Garrett. He's the culprit. Causes a loss of five, and it brings up fourth down. Here's Cameron Johnston now as he's on a punt for the first time this afternoon. And he gets this away, and look at this. This is a good one. This is taken at the 15. They'll call that in the fourth quarter. They go play action here on first down. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And this is picked up by the Browns. And he's into the end zone. It's a now a play fake here on first down. Open man is Myers. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield. 48 yard line. They'll look to throw. Open man right side, Myers. And down to the 20, he'll go before. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. And this is caught. Touchdown, Patriots. They'll look to throw here on first down. He's going to rifle one deep left side. All right, tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Greg Newsom. And to the 40 yard line. times you're getting yelled at by your coach and now you get to go to the Super Bowl put your hats on guys and say AFC champs